Hey guys, so welcome to day, I don't know what day what of um, self-isolation. So today I just said that I'd play with some new products and I created this look. Um, I'm supposed to be going to a festival in June and I'm hoping and praying that it still goes ahead. So I just said I'd practice a few looks anyway just to see what I want to do for that. So here it is and I hope you enjoy watching. Hi everyone, so jumping right in, I'm going to go in with my base products first today. So I'm going to be doing a mixture of the Flormar uh, Perfect Coverage Foundation, which lasts 20, not 24 hours, 12 hours, and the Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade Tawny, and this one is in the shade 102. So I'm going to go in with a mix of them all over my face. So now that I look like something about 101 Dalmatians, I'm going to just go in along with my beauty blender. Can't talk today, sorry. I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend that all over. So what I'm then doing is I'm just picking up the Catrice uh, Liquid Camouflage Concealer and I'm just going to pop that around the centre of my face and anywhere I want to spot concealer as well, I will. Next I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier powder and I love a matte look on my skin so I'm actually just going to pick that up on my beauty blender and just kind of press that all into the skin everywhere. Next thing I'm going to go in with is my MAC Give Me Some Mineralized Skin Finish um, powder and I'm just going in with a fluffy brush and I'm going to pick that up and I'm going to just bronze up the skin. So I'm going for a really, really colourful look today just because I was supposed to be going to a festival this year, my first ever festival, and I don't think it's going to go ahead, but I'm hoping and praying that it does. Um, so what I'm going to do, like while I have this time off work and everything, is just kind of practice different looks and everything, maybe something I want to do for that day. What I'm going to do is just because I'm going to go really, really colourful with the eyes, I'm going to pick up my Laura Mercier powder again. And I'm going to pick up a nice bit of that on my beauty blender and I'm just going to apply it underneath the eyes like so. So what that's going to do is I usually start with my eyes first doing a colourful look but I want this to be really blown out. Um, so I just place that there just because it's going to catch any eyeshadow that might fall down on my base makeup that I've already done. So that's just going to catch it and I'll dust it away when I'm finished the eyes. The palette I'm going in with today is, I'm going to go in with a mix of a few different palettes. So I'll show you each one. This is the Be Perfect Carnival palette. Um, and I'm going to go straight in with, um, I probably should have thought this up true. I'm going to go straight in with my blank canvas E26 brush. I'm going to pick up that lovely yellow shade here. I'm going to place that all in the crease and just blow it up towards my eyebrows. So I'm bringing that right in to nearly the bridge of my nose. What's the bridge of your nose? The side of my nose, sorry. I'm going to bring it out where my eyebrow ends as well because I kind of want to go for that kind of winged out look. I'm really, really hoping that this festival goes ahead. Like it's on the end of June, so it's my first ever festival. Like I've always done the hair for festivals and stuff, so It'd be exciting to go to one and it's only a one day one like not gonna lie i don't camp um i've never been camping i can already say that i think i wouldn't enjoy it um like the thought of sleeping in a tent outdoors no way who knows though like when all this ends i might be like so mad to get out of the house that like i literally sleep in a tent out front of the house like <laughs> So swapping over palettes then and picking up a Rebeluna R21 brush, it's just a nice little brush like so. Um, I'm going to pick up the Morph, uh, what one is this, 35B palette, this is an old one. And I'm just going to pick up this orange shade here. Um, you can use any orange shade um, from any palette but I just really like this one, it's a real kind of true orange. This is going to be my second colour so I'm going to place that into the crease and just kind of diffuse it up into the yellow. I really like that word so I'm not a makeup artist but I'm going to take their terms. So I'm kind of going for a sunset kind of eye. Um, I also picked up some of these, um, these jewels 
Um, I got these in pennies. I don't know why I keep saying Anne, I'm sorry. Um, I got these in pennies and I thought they were really cool, so I'm gonna try them out and see how we get on. And I have no idea how I'm gonna stick them on, but I'll ask one of my makeup friends. So going back in, I always keep my brushes in my hand, so I'm just going back in with that yellow shade and there's nothing on this brush, I haven't picked up anything, but I'm just going to kind of do circular motions to kind of blend that up into that yellow color. And you just want to take your time with this. So right? I'm picking back up the Carnival palette and I'm going to go in along with, I think, this shade here, it's called Wifey. And I'm going to pick that up on, pick it up on a pencil brush. And just because I want to really control where these colors are going now, so pick that up and I'm going to pop that underneath the orange shade and then we're going to blend the pink into the orange and the orange into the yellow. So um, there's a lot going on today. But you know what, it's one way to keep me busy. <laughs> just kind of diffuse out that pink. I really love that word diffuse. I just think it's something like, it's just lovely. <laughs> I said I'd pick up this just because, um, just because. Does it make me look like a makeup artist now? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab another pencil brush and I'm going to dip into the shade just to kind of deepen this a little bit. I'm going to, to dip into the shade Liquor and tap off the excess and then I'm going to just pat that on the outer corner here. Okay, I changed my mind. So what we're going to do is we're just literally picking up a teeny, teeny, tiny bit of it and I'm going to just literally bring that into the crease just where I'm going to be. So I'm just going to go in now and I'm going to cut the crease using my MAC 195 brush and the concealer that we use for our face and our eyes. So I think I'm actually going to do this off camera just because no one needs to see this. So I did the cut crease there and being honest, I don't think it's the worst I've ever done, so happy with that now. Now picking up a flat packing brush. This is the Blank Canvas E27 brush, and I'm going to pick up the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Glow Kit. And you see this kind of pinky shade here. I'm going to pick that up on the brush, and I'm just going to pack that where I... Oh, that's pretty. I'm going to pack that where I put the concealer for the cut crease. So I'm really only bringing that kind of, I'm leaving a millimeter of um, the concealer not covered because I'm going to go in with another shade and just blend that into the darker one here as well. That shade wifey, I'm going to just pick that up tap off the excess and just where the cut crease is meeting the dark I'm just going to pop that shade in there just for a little bit of extra so what I just did off camera then was I picked up that little pencil brush that we use for our dark colour and picked the teeniest tiniest bit of that up and I just kind of ran it along my lash line just to kind of define that and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick on some mascara and some lashes and I'll be back so I'm back now, I have stuffed my face with two donuts and I have applied my Sosu lashes. Now I'm just going to go in with, I'm going to pick up our pencil brush that we had our pink shade on, which is wifey again, this one over here. And I'm going to grab that and I don't know what I want to put in my waterline yet. I don't know, I don't think black anyway, I think something nice and bright or maybe even a teal or something. Who knows but um i'm going to firstly anyway put that pink shade right up along and just literally kind of smoke it out a bit and i want to go really smoky with the under eye so i think i might just like pack it on to the point that it nearly looks ridiculous just make sure that you connect the bottom to the top so what i'm doing with that orange shade is i'm just nearly bringing it down onto my cheekbone just really really lightly so I found my MAC um, eyeliner, so I'm just going to pop that white right in to the waterline. Oh god, I actually hate that. Fun fact about me, I will never let anyone 
else do this for me because it actually makes me feel so I just went ahead there and filled in my eyebrows and um, what else did I do popped on some bottom mascara so I'm just going to go back in again with the MAC give me some powder and I'm really going to bronze up the skin again I know we've already done this but um, I just want more also I think sometimes when I do a colorful look my the rest of my skin can really look a little bit drained out so I'm just gonna do a little bit more of that. I'm just going to pick up a little brush and I'm going to grab my MAC um, Dainty Mineralized Blush. I really really like this because it's a buildable blush and it's a nice pinky kind of colour so I'm just going to kind of pop that on my cheekbones and follow it up into that eyeshadow that we've done so I'm nearly kind of using this as my transition shade little sunburnt look we all know I like that I'm just going to pop open this now and um, try to figure out a way to stick these two so I think the best way to add these is I'm going to pick up my duo glue and I'm just going to pop it on the back of those jewels they're just so hard to pick up as well i hope this works are you allowed to use jewel glue near your eyebrows and stuff hey guys sorry my battery went dead so i just went ahead and stuck on a few of the jewels um didn't do a great job at it but it's cool makes me look a little bit angry though so i probably would do them up higher next time but no one actually needed to see me sticking them on because it was so hard. What I did was I just used the duo glue and just tried to use this, but um, I mostly like ended up just like literally trying to dislocate my shoulder, trying to put them on. But yeah, I'm thinking as well today just because I'm using a few different bits anyway. So I want to use this is a Mac um eyeliner pencil but I'm going to use this on my lips and then I'm also going to use I've never actually used this shade it's just something about that I just really want to use it today so I'm going to use it see what I think of it I also meant to add that I did go ahead and just highlight using the Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit again um with the pinky shade that I put on my eyes just popping that all over popping just popping that all over my lips then I really love that lipstick I bought this years ago and I remember my friend was with me and she's not massive into makeup but she was like why are you buying that for your mental and I was like I'll wear that on a night out and I never did and I bought it I'd say about two years ago but I'm wearing it now so guys this is the finished look I hope you enjoyed watching and I really enjoyed creating it so I'm going to now get a few pictures of it and then I'm gonna wipe it all off and go watch Disney Plus <laughs> bye thank you